So Sri Lanka has been through a bad phase, but as far as tourism is concerned, Sri Lanka is open to the world. Absolutely, all doors are open. There's absolutely no issue. So I want the media to take this forward, the positive message that Sri Lanka is open and it's safe and there are no logistical issues to come to Sri Lanka anymore. We, I would say that we are at a revival stage right now, especially after the pandemic. And then uh, we had an economic crisis, the economic crisis is still there, but for the revival of the economy in Sri Lanka, tourism is going to play a major role because that's the third biggest forex earner for Sri Lanka. Now we are on a wake-up stage and it, things are looking very positive. That's why we are at WTM and then next year, early next year, we'll be at the ITB as well. And there are a lot of other projects going on as well to revive the tourism industry. Uh, and the, as you know, from a Sri Lankan point of view, there are absolutely no, uh, what was portrayed in the news four or five months ago, uh, which was the case, but now it's no more. There are no more gas queues, there are no more petrol queues. Uh, all are back to normal, especially for tourists. There are special arrangements made and safety is 100%, I can guarantee that. A lot of tourists coming to Sri Lanka will not have any detrimental effect on the Sri Lankans themselves. Absolutely not, because you know we are a very hospitable nation with, with 22 million warm hearts. I always say this. You know, during even during the pandemic, there are thousands of tourists stuck in Sri Lanka, which they couldn't get a flight back uh, to their own countries. So the, our our people in Sri Lanka kept them in their houses, looking after give them, giving their all three meals, and you know they, they didn't even charge a cent. That is the Sri Lankan heart. Uh, that's how who Sri Lanka is. Going forward now, what can tourists expect to see in Sri Lanka? Anything new coming on stream at all? Yes, actually, like I said, you know, I, did, I think you were there at the press conference yesterday. Instantly, we are creating this FIFA zone. Uh, for tourists who, who, who want to go to Qatar and then they have when they have a five, six day break that they can uh, come to Sri Lanka in Igampur, the FIFA zone where there's going to be a lot of entertainment while, while live matches are going on and uh, with the startup package at $600, as low as $600 with, including the article. So that's going to play a major role uh, in Sri Lanka. And then uh, in December, uh, we are going to uh, lit up the whole of Colombo to see that Sri Lanka is back in action you know, uh, during the season, festive season, that we are a free nation. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fun and joy that you can have in Sri Lanka, taking it forward.